What's up, nerds? We're playing Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. I know nothing about Grand Blue. I've never seen this world before. I've never been introduced to it. I know that this is a pretty expansive uh, franchise, world, whatever you want to call it. I've never done any of that, so I thought we would try something a little bit different. We're not going to be doing like super edited videos for this. I just wanted to play the game and kind of treat it like I'm streaming, but without the stream. So. It's not just it's just not going to be as edited we're just going to be playing the game and uh see how it goes so without further ado let's go ahead and let's start grand blue fantasy relink i'm actually really excited for this i played the demo and it is exquisite i just don't have time to stream it or to do anything regarding youtube besides this with it so this is this is my this is how i get to play it <laughs> that's that's good enough by me. Uh, so I'm I'm excited. The demo was dope. Like the demo was real good. I'm getting ready for the Persona 3 reload that comes out very soon. Uh, so and luckily we get early access on PlayStation to uh, to this game. So that'll be pretty good. Uh, little heads up. I'm playing on the PlayStation. So I'm playing on PS5, but I'm playing the PS4 version because it does have trophy auto pops. So if you play on the PS4 version and you get all of the trophies, as soon as you boot up the PlayStation 5 version, it'll give you all of those trophies as well. So I don't really, I'm not somebody that cares about, like it'll be, it'll play fine regardless, right? So, so that's what I'm doing. Figured, hey, why not, why not get some tr what trophies? PlayStation, that's what we do. Uh, so I'm excited, like I said, the, the demo was really good. Hopefully you played it if you did. Uh, curious what you thought. Um, it looks like we are going to be playing on, um, we get three different difficulties. Might as well, I usually just play everything on hard, and I know that there is a trophy for the hardest difficulty, so let's go ahead and let's do it on hard. Uh, I wonder then if there's going to be like a new game plus. Maybe there is new game plus for this game. Because I know there's a trophy for... I haven't really looked at the trophy list, but I know that there is one for playing the game on the hardest difficulty. And I think I think the hardest difficulty is something other than, than hard. The stars await, and we mustn't keep them. For seven days, your crew weathered the storms before finally breaking through the clouds. They couldn't have made it this far without you. They're welcome. What began as a chance encounter with a girl named Lyria became a journey to reach the ends of the skies. And now, a new chapter in that story is about to begin. What do you say? Shall we start writing the first page? Yeah. I... Yeah. Kind of feels like I should not play this first, then... I know there's a fighting game, Grand Blue, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. Oh my god, it reminds me of Final Fantasy IX, like the opening to Final Fantasy IX immediately. Are we close? Ship's caught a current. Be out in the ship. Almost there, Captain. I think I'm captain. Oh yeah, okay. So we get to choose uh, what body type we want. Body type one or two, one or two. All right, we're gonna go with we're gonna go with uh, with this. Uh, what is our name? I guess it could be anything. The character. Oh, is that why? Okay, so the character's name is Gran. Uh, why don't we just rock with that then? Sure. It can be changed later. Is that what it said? Or can't be changed later. Yeah, 
It's beautiful. Okay, so Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. I feel like these characters have all been introduced in previous Grand Blue Fantasy franchise stuff. So, like right now, it actually kind of feels like if you're somebody like me, it kind of it kind of feels like maybe this isn't actually the best starting point for you to experience this world. Um, Maybe other people will will disagree with that, but right now I'm like, oh, oh, wait a minute, you know, our dialogue is all the way up, huh? It sounded pretty quiet. Maybe I'll do just one down on that. Yeah, let's do one. Sorry, just to make sure that it's a little bit better for us. All right. I like this little wyvern thing named Vern. Vern. All right, we can check in with some characters here. Hello. Oh, there's an autoplay option. Yeah, 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 I remember that. What do you think is out there? At the end of the sky realm, I think. Oh, there's a glossary, too, so we can see what they're talking about. Sky realm, this world of floating islands stretches over many skydoms, each of which are separated by a turbulent zone known as the Grim Basin. The sky realm was ruled long ago by powerful beings called astrals until the sky dwellers overthrew and exiled them in an insurrection now known as the war. Just the war. Oh, that gives us, wow. Sky dwellers are denizens of the sky, broadly divided into four peoples, each with distinct physical characteristics, humans, drafts, runes, and harvins after overthrowing the astrals in the great war. Sky dwellers adapted the technology of their former oppressors to build their own complex civilizations. That's pretty cool. Astrals are yet a mystery. One thing is certain, they wield terrible power, defying even the laws of nature. They once subjugated the Sky Realm, forever changing the course of its history, but in a miraculous reversal of fortune, were defeated by Sky Dwellers in an insurrection known as the War. Though the physical presence of astrals has all but faded into myth, their influence remains in the form of unique technology, some of which is still utilized in modern airships. The war refers to the rebellion that took place hundreds of years ago. Grim Basin is below us. The turbulent zone is filled with pestilent vapors, powerful monsters, and ship-shattering gales. Oh, okay. It's it's not below us. It's just around. Uh, primal beast astrals use these godlike beasts as weapons during the war. After the exile of their former masters, many primals slept in the form of crystals or were integrated into budding civilizations as objects of worship. Primals can only be controlled by astrals, and their rare but terrible rampages are on the order of a natural catastrophe. End of Skies, well-known fable that Estelucia, the Isle of the Astrals, lies at the end of the skies. There is no proof that the island exists. Scholars have put forth many contending theories about what lies at Sky's end, including the presence of a great wall or a utopia of ease and comfort. It feels like potentially they're going to be telling us about some of this stuff um, as we go. So I don't want to, I mean, I want to know this stuff, but it's really cool. Really, I, I mean, I really like when games give us this, though. Like, I think I think this is just a great thing to have, an a, a, a in-game encyclopedia. Horn Sky Dwellers are sturdily built and their physical strength make them excellent iron workers and carpenters. However, most do not have an affinity with magic. Giraffes. They look cool. Harvins. These small, pointy-eared sky dwellers, extremely logical, making them shrewd business people. Though physically ill-suited for combat, Harvins also possess indomitable wills and courage. Runes? They're like Viera, 
but maybe less hot. I don't know. We'll see. They sport animal ears, natural gift for magic. Ancient runes preferred mountaintop dwellings. Oh, it seemed very, in that's very similar. And then humans, which are, you know, humans. Primal beast, we just get one, Ares. This splendidly armored primal beast presided over combat, destined to live all life by the sword. She was once an astral, famed for her physical prowess and tactician's wit. Even then, many called her a god of war. In her astral days, Ares had a fondness of the Sky Realm and even became a naturalized citizen. When the war erupted, she fought in it and died, only to be revived as a primal beast by a mysterious astral known only as Snake. She spent much of this second life wandering the other world, but with Catalina's help, was able to let go of all her regret and move on once and for all. Her power she left behind to Catalina, with whom she had bonded. Ah, interesting. So, yeah, this definitely throws you into a world that is very well established and a storyline that actually seems very, very well established. I'm curious to see. I kind of, well, I want to keep going, obviously. <laughs> if there is, it'd be pretty tall. Oh, now that you bring it up, I guess I've never thought about it before. Hey, can I ask you something? What do you think is at the end of the world? <laughs> no idea, but I'm dying. Oh, I like these little, I like how they do the dialogue choices. No idea. I'm dying to find out. We'll find out when we get there. Oh, we're, we're going. We'll find out when we get there. Oh, we're voice acted. I knew you'd say something like that. <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand, we know there's at least two things waiting for us out there. First is Estelucia. can't imagine what adventures we're in for next. We'll just have to keep going and see for ourselves. <laughs> you and Lyria are totally in sync. I like how they say you, not the name. <laughs> You're certainly in high spirits, Lyria. <laughs> I'm just excited to start a brand new adventure. Like, I'm kind of... Who knows what we'll find in this Skydom. Yeah, I'm curious to see if they end up, is this, like, uh, like, will we have a flashback to stuff, you know, to, or is this, or is this really just not meant for people that don't know anything about Grand Blue? Because that's actually fairly important. Oh, man, feel that wind flowing through your hair. I played this guy in the demo, and he's wildly cool. It does have a certain nostalgic quality to it. Wait, does that mean you've been to the Skydome before, Rosetta? Oh, sweetie. <laughs> I can't start giving away my secrets now. Aw, you never give me a straight answer. Because you've got no filter. Maybe you'll understand when you're older. <laughs> Zip it! I've told you a bunch of times, stop treating me like a baby! She's right, Rackham. Eo is a mature, sophisticated lady. <laughs> Two against one ain't fair. Cute. Play nice, Rackham. Do it. Play nice, Rackham. Oh, come on. Three against one? I was just teasing. Sorry for having a little fun. It's okay. Ugh, I mean, I like I like them so far. One, it's Rackham. Oh, Eo. Just forget about him. Think about these new skies we get to explore. It's beautiful. I mean, it is it is beautiful. Like, it's very, very, uh, very nice game. I like how Rackham's... Rackham, stop to have a conversation. Stop flying our ship here. Probably not the best. It doesn't look like there's anything on here, though. What's our ship called? That's what I wanted. What's our ship? Any, any, any airship? Like, I just love... Airships are super cool to me. And maybe it's just because I've grown up playing Final Fantasy games. But I just love them. Oh, is this the guy I played? No, Zackham for sure. Rackham for sure. Yeah, yeah. It's not UG. No, maybe it was this dude. This new Skydom reminds me of my younger days. Got me falling in love with the skies all over again. But you can rest easy. I'm keeping an eye on the horizon. Just Anything one, though. Comes close to the ship, and you'll be the first to know. Uh, we're glad to have your eagle eye. We're glad to have your eagle eye, Eugen. Eugen? Yeah, that's 
why I always eat my carrots. Why don't you go check on the rest of the crew? I got things covered up here. <laughs> carrots are supposed to be good for eyesight. New don't ease up now, Captain. <laughs> Seems like everyone's in high spirits. Should be seeing signs of civilization soon. I hope the island has a hotel. Well, all right. Huh? Heads up! We got monsters! Oh, yeah! No! Fuck off! Lyria's in trouble! Oh! Quick! How'd I miss a yeah. whole flock of wyverns? Yeah! Were they... Okay. To attack nearby foes? Yeah, we know. We know how to do I this. We played the. Wow! 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 Yeah! yeah. Looking good. You two handle the lizards on the port side. On it, yelling jerks! Out of our way! We can dodge with R two and all of that stuff. You can also like. Oh, maybe not yet. In the demo, you could like hold down stuff. When a foe glows red, watch out! Be prepared to guard or dodge the powerful attack. Beware taking too many hits while guarding. Well, okay. Nice move. Nice. Bud. Nice move, bud. I like the uh dude there. You can also dodge with R2. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm pressing it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll save you. those losers <laughs> <laughs> you can't mess with the best what a, what Daforka? Brace yourselves! Lyria, what gives? Why's Bahamut gone all bonkers? I don't know. I thought I heard a voice and and, and this happened. Knock some sense into pro. Yeah, I don't know. I'm afraid we'll have no luck reasoning with him now. Looks like our team is hell. Okay, so like everybody's fighting. Now it's on. Then we can. Oh, that hit me. Oh, that was okay. So that was a spell effect from Eo, I think. Ao. Yeah. Okay. 
I was seeing if there was like a way to get over there quickly. Ow! I needed that. I was gonna say, hopefully they heal me here. I don't want to die. <laughs> oh, he's chomping. I mean, that's dope though. Like. Knock some sense. There we go. So if you hold down the items. Is the Grand Slaver done for, Ratham? Come on, ship. Don't fail me now. Watch the Time chomp. Bombs ticket, people. Oh, oh, cool. Whoa! Ow! That did so much damage. What is this hard? Here? You kidding? We are now flying those wings. Yeah, right. That's our only oh shit! Woo! Wait, how did that hit me? I was out of that. Come on! Oh, that is dope. I mean, not. You know, not for our airship. Like, it's a little bad for our airship, but... Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, no, I'm not. Just kidding. Oh, we're going down, dude. Don't give up. 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 Well, Catalina, you, like, got the God of War or something in you, right? He's too tough. I was like, oh, okay, so now it's doing different. There's so much I can do with the wheel. Hurry it up, Oigan. I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. A little bit. But then again, like, Dave, we would have probably would have died. This is what a great opening to a game, dude. Oh, shit. Does Muhammad think we're a buffet or what? Oh, no, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, I dodged it. I dodged it. I'm real good at this game. Like see it charging. Oh. Yeah, you see that? It appears we're still alive. At the start. Go 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 go. Now's our chance to attack. Go 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 go. I attack. Go go go. Don't give it time. We did it. Keep up the pressure. We got to work. Yeah. I think so. The Forgotten Sky Trophy. Okay, well, I get the dragon lizard. Proto Bahamut. Whoa, back up. 
Wait, the, but the... Well, I... that That's not my fault. I... I didn't do nothing. Tucked away on the secluded island of Zinkenstil, nothing exciting ever seemed to happen to this young man or his pal Vern, but that all changed when a girl named Lyria arrived out of the blue. Grand's newest adventure unfolds across this western stretch of sky, home to islands such as Lutan and the Enstero Archipelago. The western frontier. So, maybe we're not going to have, like, any flashbacks. Mary's voice echoed through the darkness. It was familiar. Painfully familiar. Just like the day we met, before this whole long journey began. Though I could barely use my sword, I tried to protect Lyria from the Empire. I almost died. But then... Oh, maybe... Protected me. Now it's my turn to save you. Take my power. Let it guide you. Let it become your strength. I know you can do this. Our lives are linked. While I may not fully understand how, Lyria gave half her life to save me. Her gift gave me the push I needed to pursue my own quest. Finding Estelusia, Island of the Astrals. It was a fabled place at the end of the sky, where dreams are said to come true. Lyria and I... Not to mention our ever-growing crew are still continuing our search. But someday... Someday we'll find it. Then finally, the life link between us will... Huh? Where... am I? Oh, right. Lyria fell from the ship. Then Vern and I leapt after her. <sighs> maybe they're not going to. Maybe it's not going to. Okay, Vern. <laughs> I really like them, though. Jeez. Scared me half to death, you know? <sighs> Season one of Lost begins now. You're screaming. There's a ship on the, on the shore. Having that dream about Lyria again? Maybe you bumped your head on the way down. That dream about Larry, Lyria, Larry, uh, Lyria. Lyria. I didn't see where she fell. She should be close. Let's search the area. Oh, it's so pretty though. Damn. All right, so it looks like head that way, but there's got to be other stuff, right? Oh, it teaches you to dash. What's over here? Oh heck yeah. Any? Oh yeah. Hey, Give me what? stuff. I hope our next one is Lyria. No, no, I'm busy. I'm sorry, but I'm busy. We have the main menu that we can do here. Have Lyria's journal. Takes many notes as the journey continues. Check out her journal so we can see main story, the story so far. Ah. I see. Well. 
where I wonder where this story is told then. Oh, and we can we can re see all every cutscene. That's good. That's real good. I like I like when I like when they do that. Every game should have every game should have stuff like this. You know? Uh Rosetta is primal beast people? Is the reincarnation of the primal beast Rose Queen and has traveled with Grand's father in the past. Yo, what? Everybody else is just people. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Catalina is Erica Lindbeck, which is Jesse in um, Final Fantasy VII Remake, which is cool. I'm not sure if I recognize any of the other names. Uh, that's cool that they actually tell you the voice actor in the game. That's that's really cool. More games need to do that, too. They'll also tell you about uh, Proto Bahamut. This colossal dragon acts as a guardian to Gran and Lyria. Though bound from snout to tail, it possesses the might to devastate all that stands in the Grand Cipher's path, which is the name of our ship. And then uh, stuff about wyverns. We have different weapons, which are all the ones that they equip, like Rosetta's and uh, Oigen's and Eos, Rockham, Catalina, ourselves. That's pretty cool. I like, I like that, that, I really like that there's all this stuff. There's a gloss, obviously the glossary that we already checked out a little bit of. Tips? I need those. Trophies? Oh, nice. Cool. And see the different. Oh, then we can actually, we can actually claim stuff from this. That's cool. Can't see any other ones, but I like, I like that. They actually give you, they give you stuff for rewarding it. We have only available while in town and playing in offline mode. We can change, that's cute. We can change our music at any point too. I'm a, f I like that. The only thing right now that I'm a little like, I don't know, man, uh, is just, is just, I'm, I'm such a story completionist type person that like, like, yeah, I know they give us this, but I, but I want to like watch it so you can get all the stuff, but. I guess, do we read it? Her name is Lee. It's short. One day, an Erst Empire battleship suddenly appears over Zickenstill, Gran's island home. A light descends from the ship and Gran rushes into the woods to investigate. There, Gran finds a blue-haired girl named Lyria being hounded by the Empire. When the Imperial pursuers catch up to her, they release a dreadful monster. Gran battles valiantly to protect Lyria, but ultimately suffers fatal injuries in the one-sided fight. As Gran slips close to death, Lyria links her life force to Gran's own. Not only does the girl's determination sa save Gran's life, it triggers a powerful reaction that summons Bahamut, a fearsome black dragon who dries off, uh, drives off the Imperials. From that day forward, the fates of Lyria and Gran would be inextricably linked. Gran's father left Zinkenstill many years ago, leaving behind a letter telling Gran to come to the Promised Land, an island called Estelucia. Gran has dreamed of venturing out into the vast blue sky ever since. Now, accompanied by Lyria and her guardian, Catalina, that journey is no longer a dream, but a reality. Catalina is... So was Catalina part of the Empire? Rackham and the Grand Cipher. Like their father before them, Gran decides to form a Skyfarer crew for the journey ahead. Arriving in Port Breeze Archipelago... Gran visits the local knickknack shack and learns about Rackham, a former helmsman who has since given up the trade. Though he has no intention of flying again, he changes his mind when the Erst Empire attacks Port Breeze. Amid the conflict, Rackham's passion for flying returns, and afterward, he pledges his piloting skills and ship the Grand Cipher to Grand's cause. Grand's fledgling crew grows more with each visit to a new locale. In Valt's Duchy, they recruit Eo, a promising mage with exceptional talent, and August, the anti-imperial sharpshooter Uygen, joins their ranks, as does Rosetta, a shrewd, mysterious beauty hailing from Lum Lumacia. Lumacia. As more allies come aboard the Grand Cipher, their conflict with the Empire approaches a climactic showdown. The Prime Minister of the Erst Empire intends to sacrifice the citizens of the Imperial capital in order to activate the primal beast Akasha, and use its power to rewrite history. Grant's crew and allies put a stop to the Prime Minister's scheme by stealing away the Primal. Once defanged, the Empire quickly loses its authority and collapses. 
And now, where we are. After taking down the Erst Empire, Grand's crew leaves the Fantagrand Skydom to continue their journey. They pass through the Skydoms of Nalagrand and Arlagrand to arrive on the doorstep of a vast expanse they've yet to explore. Zegagrand Kingdom. And that's where we are now. All right. Huh. We also did get some inventory stuff here. Add it to your wish. Select a treasure and press triangle to add it to your wish list. When you visit the knickknack shock, uh, items on your wish list will be marked with an icon. Oh, nice. Cool. So we can be like, oh, we need this going forward. Let's let's do that. Um, yeah, wish list, add, remove. That's cool. A small chip from a primal crystal, a crystal shard replete with memories of warriors. These recollections of training coax a minute amount of power out of armaments. We have a sword. I think we, we do have some, like demo stuff we just can't get that until we come across our first knickknack patty whack give the dog a bone check all right i mean yeah i haven't done like i wanted to play the game because it looked really good and i i didn't really think of i should have maybe oh there's stuff up here look at this um ooh, what are you we pincers are rare creatures that hide throughout Zegu Grand. There may be someone out there who seeks these critters. Nice, dude! Just by a little exploring, we can find some collectibles. Um, I'm assuming there's probably some missable stuff too, like missable trophies and whatnot. But yeah, I... Dang, this forest is huge! Don't get us lost, okay, pal? I'll try not to, but no you promises. It might come in handy later. We got a cobblestone? Ah, oh, yeah. I mean, it's beautiful. Like, it really, it is stunning. Like, it, lo it looks great so far. Plays very well. Um, I'm assuming, you know, we'll get more abilities and stuff to play with as we go. But, yeah, so I wanted, I, I kind of am curious now, and I'll probably check after recording this first little initial checkout playthrough thing. Um, you know, where the, if there's, a, like, a ton more story that I should have seen. I know there's the Versus, which is like the fighting game, right? That's where we came from, right? Okay. Is there a map? I don't think so, actually. Not yet. Anyways, there, it, there definitely was in the demo, so. Oh, I bet everybody's Seems worried useful. sick. I, I'm I sure. Again. Ooh, another chest. Let's go. Money, we got a Rafale, a raffle, raffle coin, Rafale, Raf, Raf, Rafale, another chest up there I see, so probably run around here, this is, I like, uh, this is great, it's beautiful, definitely want to play this, and uh, <laughs> the story from what I've heard is, I think they've said it's going to be like 20 hours long story wise, but that the, the real, the real bulk of this game is the co-op stuff that you can do, and I don't know if you, it doesn't feel like you can play co-op, story yet i think it's like a more of a quest system like i said maybe i should have done some homework before playing but yeah i either my sword needs to i might need a new sword because or that ivy is that ivy is very strong <laughs> i think i probably need a new sword it's good because I think I have one for pre-ordering the game or something. Very cool. Oh, oh no! This way. Look at that! I love... There's like this like... This watercolor aesthetic that they do when you... When things are... When like the draw distance is really... Ah, beautiful. It looks beautiful. It really does. Big fan. Big fan. This is gonna be this is gonna be a fun to play for sure. There she, <gasps> is. she reminds me of uh, what's her name in My Hero Academia. <laughs> lock on. Press L two to lock on. Okay. You can take yeah. Right. 
Wah, yeah, wah. Timberwolf, yeah. Oh, it looks like they're they're weak to. Wah, dodged. Get forked, nerd. Yeah. This should do it. How's this? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The combat feels really fun. And, like, we don't even have anything yet, you know? Oh, yeah? You want to go, too? Yeah! I believe in you. You don't... You, so you're, like, super powerful, but you don't fight, Lyria. Is that what I'm gathering here? Because I could use your help. I feel like that other one was going to attack me. Wish I could see what the other one was doing. Luckily, he was just chilling. I'm not. These are easy. You can take some Timberwolves, girl. Did we get all of them? Yeah. Watch out. Looks like we've got friends. Skills. Hold R1 and press buttons to activate a skill. Skills go on cooldown. Yeah, skills. Oh. That was dope. So he's he's uh, wind. He looks like he uses wind elements. They all have different elements, and enemies do too, right? Me. Still, I was afraid I might never see you again. And... <laughs> oh, talk about close call. I'd almost given up hope. Thank you for saving me. <laughs> We're just happy you're safe. I like the I. I, I think I'm really going to like this. Support skills. Every character has their own support skills. One of the captain's support skills is called Adept Arts, which enhances the abilities of activated skills. Uh, we have recovery items. I had to use those on Bahamut already. Yeah, so as we go, our arts are going to get stronger. Our skills get stronger as we go. So we have our arts. One is a regenleave, regenle, regen, regenleave, um, and I think we'll probably yeah, we'll probably be able to build that up as we go. Um, we did get more. We have these now. A commemorative coin issued by Crew Alliance Rafal, thanks to a partnership with Zero Cart. I don't know how to say these words at all. Roiling winds rolled this stone until it became nice and round. That's all we got for now. We do have our wee pincer. Don't. These juvenile crabs live in all environments throughout the skies. They are generally docile until reaching adulthood, and even then, a loving caretaker can nip their belligerents in the bud. A boy in Folka is rumored to be taking in the wee waddlers. The wee the wee waddlers. Character. We do have character details too that we can check out here. Uh, and then have, oh, this is going to be, we got traits. Okay. Looks like we get some HP. <laughs> cool, cool. We can see our skills stuff. And I know we can move that around too. Like we have our command list so we can see our different combos that we have. Uh, uh, our charge. See, I knew we could charge that stuff. And then adept art levels. Uh, customized character. Oh, we, yeah, we could freely change. That's actually really cool. And then um, we'll unlock color stuff, but we could change to Jita or Gran at any time. That's actually, that's that's dope. I doubt that it has any story thing, but I think that's super cool. And then obviously we can adjust our party as, and whatnot as well. Uh, neat. Hi, Lyria. Can we break? Okay. I could barely break vines. I doubt I can break a log. This is... I... Yeah. I'm very curious if anybody... To those to those watching. Is this a game that you... Has been on your radar? Have you been excited to play it? Do you know anything about Grand Blue Fantasy? This is something uh, that has... I just... I, Grand Blue... I, I heard about Grand Blue Fantasy with this game, basically. Back home's doing. This is cute. 
But yeah, so I wanted to do just this first little this first little video here, see if people are into it, and uh, if they are, you know, maybe maybe we'll uh, maybe I will end up turning this into a more of a edited thing, unless people like this format as well. What is that? That's like ancient ruins or something. I am intrigued by the the worlds already that they've kind of established, even just reading about it and not seeing it. Ooh, what's that? That's purple. Nice. Archives. Check out the archives in Lyria's journal to read notes and other documents. New journal, new entry added. Traveler's journal. So... It also feels like as a completionist type person, like this in particular is very, I'm very excited. Casual scribe. Like it has, obviously these are not the trophies that you get for the game. Um, these are, or you know, if you're playing on PlayStation, those are trophies that exist no matter what platform you're playing on. All right, so these are the archives. Oh, they're so, oh, I'm going to love this. Fulka's on the other side of this forest, so I figured I'd just cut through the brush and save a buttload of time, right? Wrong! I didn't even know trees could get this tall and dense. So much for navigating by the sun. I've been going around in circles for hours. Whoever says getting lost is the real thrill of the journey is an idiot. Okay, well, it was kind of fun. For like the first 10 minutes. Uh-oh. Was that a monster roaring in the distance? Sounded pretty big. As soon as I catch my breath, I am out of here. This is gonna be... F I'm... I, I'm... Okay, I'm in. I'm in. I knew the demo was really fun. Uh, but I was like, there's so many... There's like so many things it throws at you. That I was like, dude, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep up with this. My brain too tiny. But... I was kind of hoping we'd get, you know, awesome. some story with the characters and then I could be like, ah, they fight so, if if you haven't played the demo, they fight so drastically different from each other. It's really cool. Like, and there's so many characters you can play as. That's why I'm like a little, like, is there an anime? Because if there is, it feels like there's probably an anime. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, we got some wingies, too. I'm going to go for the wingies first because hornbills, because I'm worried about it. I'm scared of those. Every character's attack and skills have an elemental property. The element is represented by a colored icon next to the character or skill. The captain's element, that's us, is wind. There's also plane, earth, wind, fire, water, heart. Foes take more damage from elements they're weak to, which is represented. Oh, so they just tell us. The Temper Wolf is weak to the Captain's Wind Element. The Hornbill is weak to fire. Oh, it's kind of... Oh, I don't want to do that. I actually don't know. Oh, the, oh, the lock-on system. I actually don't know here. That feels weird. Well, move. What? Dodged. Yeah, dodge. Because I'm so used to using the stick for other, for like camera stuff, that when you, if you use the right s stick, it adjusts who the lock on target is. Yeah. Oh, the designs look great. I actually, the, they look really cool, really nice. No, oh, no, no, don't do that. That hurts. Actually, it didn't hurt that bad. All right, all right, all right. Here's the, here's the deal. Yes. Yeah, Vern! I was gonna say. Oh! Ooh, I like the level up stuff too. You're amazing! Yeah. And there's more where that came from. Yeah, I am. Forward march. Forward march. This is Well shoot. I wasn't planning on streaming this, and now I'm like, well, what if, what if I, what if I, what if I, what if I do? What if I do stream it? Yeah, this game, and it, 20 hour story is like, dude, I spent, I spent longer than that playing Final Fantasy 14 on stream this weekend, so I could, you know, nope, nope, we'll just do it. We'll do it in this format, unless, unless like people hate it. Oh, hell, this? look, tre I'm that as somebody that likes to look in every nook and cranny in a game, that's going to get me 
it feels like it feels like they are it feels like that was a priority for them I think I can see a path on the other side you know of course that means for you dear viewer you're gonna be stuck watching me uh do nothing while I try to figure stuff out because like I said the big thing is is I don't want to worry too much about oh I bet you we need to use our oh no okay I wasn't sure if they need to keep everyone waiting. You know how protective they get. Then we better file back quick and show them what troopers we are. Okay. Uh yeah, I wanted I was curious if it was gonna make us use our skill, but look at this. Look at oh yeah, for sure. Let's see. Super pretty wind shard. I definitely like the glossary thing that they give you as well. Um, I'll probably, after this episode, this recording, I'm probably going to go through and, like, just, just kind of see what I'm missing, because I haven't, like I said, I haven't done any homework about Granblue. Maybe I should have. I heard the fighting game is dope, though. I hear it's real good. It looks real good. All right, this looks like a boss arena. Burn, is it just me, or... Oh no, Verge! Burn behind you. Oh, that's dope. So this was actually this was actually in the This was in the This was in the demo. It was one of the quests that you could do, like, with people. Real beast of a bull the ring. Whoa! Quackadile. Quakadile, not quackadile. Quackadile is... Makes him sound... Whoa! Goofy. I do wish there was a little bit better camera control here. Oh, I did hear, actually. Oh, Catalina! Oh, and EO and Rackham, let's go! You're so corny. Let's just make him a monster already. You're so corny. Glad to see you too, Bird. Oh, I got hit. I suck. We can take it out if we link our attacks. If we link our attacks. It doesn't look like we can actually switch. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have the ability to switch to... Oh, here we go. Link attack. The foe's stun gauge fills up as it takes hits. Once its stun gauge is full, a link chance will occur. Press circle during a link chance to perform a link attack. Ready? Link Let's attack? Go. Yeah! You guys rock. The honor's all mine. That's all the <laughs> link level. Performing certain actions, such as link attacks, raises the party's link level. If all party members perform a link attack at 100% link level, they'll gain temporary buffs. Which feels to be like the... You know, you're going to need to do that if you want to. All right. I remember overdrive from the demo. Mode bar and boss status. Fills up as it takes damage. The boss goes into overdrive and becomes even more dangerous. Conversely, a boss's mode bar depletes as it takes damage while in overdrive. Once the bar is depleted, it enters break. That's your chance to lay on the hurt. All right, so we got to do damage to it while also avoiding... Charging my triangle attack. Yeah! Now it's on. I'm not really seeing. Oh. I'm gonna save my skills. No, I'm not. Link attack. That's what I'm talking about. Twenty-eight percent. Ow. Skybound arts. 
when your skybound art gauge is full to unleash a devastating attack your skybound art gauge is underneath your health gauge now's our chance on me oh Tempest yeah these were cool I'll protect you. and it's not done yet and still not done yet Yeah! When multiple skybound arts are activated, it triggers a powerful final attack called a chain burst. Try chaining everybody's SBAs together for a full burst. We can change. Press that in square to command your party members to either automatically or hold them for later. Interesting. I wonder what the... It's almost dead. Oh, it's. Oh, I was gonna say, is it going back into. No, no, no. This is. It's almost. And get it defeated! Let's finish this in a cool way, shall we? Yeah! Land Beast Claw. Oh, that was dope. First boss fight. No pun intended. We made it in time. Is that Rosetta? <laughs> Rosetta! Blaken! Do forgive me for being late, Captain. Hope you save some fun for me. Uh my Ooh. Crew is better Looks than like crew. everyone's no worse for wear. Oh, thanks for the save, Oigan. Lyria, about what happened with Bahamut. Do you have it under control now? Yes. I think I do. Uh, why did it flip out on us? I don't really know. Well, hanging out here isn't gonna help. How about we head back to the Grand Cipher? I'm with Eo. Better get moving before more monsters get the munchies. <laughs> In that case, maybe we should follow this trail instead. I have a feeling it leads to a nearby town. Doesn't that sound like the perfect place to learn more about Zega Grande? Zega Grande. But what about the Grand Cipher? But what about the Grand Cipher? She's sitting pretty behind some cliffs past the forest. But that last tussle in the sky dinged her up a bit. Be great if we could grab repairs. Then it's settled. Into town we go. I love how. Huh, wonder if they got any plump, juicy apples. Rackham is the is the, like the person that owns the ship oh, and pilots Vern. it, but yet we're Your the captain. Always thinking about food. But... <laughs> Look who's talking. Uh... My tummy always picks the worst time to growl. <laughs> you heard Lyria's stomach. Let's go find that town. This is so cute. Oh, wonder what kind of city it'll be. Can't wait to find out. Look at our crew. This is good. I. You know what I'm wondering? Yeah. How'd you guys fall from that high up without a scratch? It's a miracle. Good question. Maybe the canopy broke our fall. In any case, we got lucky. Hey, any skyfarer who tells you life ain't about luck is a liar in my book. <laughs> okay. I feel like Rosetta's gonna be... And maybe it's just because she's... She's forking hot. I mean, everyone's hot, you know? Catalina's hot. Rosetta's hot. Rackham's hot. Oigan's hot, I guess. Whatever. His name's Oigan, though. Like... Oh, oh, it doesn't allow us to SBA mode. Okay. Oh, we also have the, these like history stickers, chat emotes. So like, we can do that stuff. So you can actually see history. You can see like, I think what they say, but also uh, what you say. And then they have stickers and stuff too, which is cool. It doesn't look like I can actually open my, I can't open my menu right now. Does that arts thing just stay there though? Cause that feels a little, a little weird, a little goofy. 
Like I said, I'm gonna try not to edit stuff. Like I don't wanna I don't wanna I wanna play this and I wanna put out stuff, but I don't want it to be like Sea of Stars and, and all of that where it ends up just taking me forever to get out because I gotta edit it and render it and all that. I love how the whole team runs around with us. That is great. Kind of reminds me of and I haven't actually had a chance to play it yet, but the fact that everyone runs around with you and stuff feels, um, prob hopefully in a better way, feels like Star Ocean integrity and faithlessness. But not in a bad, not in, not in, you know, a Star Ocean integrity and faithlessness way. Don't mind if I do. Oh, I, I absolutely love that watercolor aesthetic of things in the distance. That is, that is really, really nice. Seems like a pleasant place to unwind. Only one way to find out. Let's go! It's so cute. Lyria, a young girl with the power to control Primal Beast. When she shared her life force with Gran, their fates became inextricably linked. Life link. Yeah, what is that about? Little dragon pal like Vern? That's true. Like, where are they from? They feel like they're just supposed to be like a... I like him, though. Sun Dappled Grove, that's where we just were. Oigen! Despite being haunted by his past, this old warrior still has a lot of fight left in him. He has much wisdom to impart if you ignore his frequent complaints about getting older. Uh, in true, probably anime fashion, this dude's like 25. Oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> like he's, he's not 18, so therefore he's old and grizzled. Uh, Eo, a young mage who idolizes sophistication. She's headstrong and tenacious, maybe even a little too tenacious at times. I, 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 I'm in, dude. I'm in. I'm in. You got me. Oh, I love that art. That is really nice. Oh boy, this town is nice. I was just saying that. Check out the airships. Probably got a strong trade network going. Kind of reminds me of good old Port Breeze. We should look for a place where Lyria can rest. Sounded like Port Breeze is where he was from, where they, where they started, right? You've had a rough afternoon today. You shouldn't push yourself too hard. I know, but we're in a brand new town, and I want to explore it with everyone. Well, Captain. Yeah. Enjoy some time to yourselves, everyone. Enjoy some time to yourselves, everyone. I need to remember that he has some voice Yay! acting, or they have some voice acting. Where do you guys get your energy from? <laughs> if Lyria's up for a little excursion, then I don't see the harm in it. In the meantime, I'll grab the Grand Cipher. Should be a dock around here somewhere. As for me, I'm hankering to try the local brews they got in these parts. Yeah, oh, you just got here and you already need a drink? What's with you geezers? What? I deserve a refreshing cocktail after a long hike. Ugh. You don't deserve anything. <laughs> <laughs> You're all too much. Anyway, after exploring for a bit, let's meet back at that big building over there. Hmm. This looks, I mean, the art style is beautiful. Come on! I want to take a look around. I can't wait to explore. I love visiting new places for the first time. Yeah, especially uh, because items and things. Message from the Defense Corps. Even the way the menu opens is actually, it's like, it's really nice. There's something about it that's nice. So archives, we have another one. Message from Defense Corps. Attention, Foco residents. Recently, we've received a disturbing number of reports of monster sightings in the forest. Unfortunately, the Corps is unable to ramp up patrols at this time. We request that residents refrain from entering the forest if possible. If you absolutely must head into the forest, please consult with us beforehand. We apologize for the unconvenience. Then we have the field notes for foes, like the... The timber wolves here. Oh, and they even have that's cool. That's real cool. You can see like a little bit of the 
Yeah, nice. The Quaker dials. I wish you could like stop their animations though. Switch model. Oh, okay. So you can see when they're overdriving. Nice. That's cool. Real cool. So those aren't like unique. It's not like that was like a unique monster. That's just like a. Right, we do have obviously more trophies for battle. Let's link up. It is worth checking these trophies too. Set trophy. You want to set this as your displayed trophy? No, no, no. That's okay. Oh, that's cool. Display. So like if somebody looks at. Oh, uh, the one with treasure chest give you something. So you can just look at those and be like, oh, okay. Neat. Neat, neat, neat. That's cool. We also got, I mean, we got a bunch of different things. I do want to check the, the knick-knack. Patty whack, give the dog a bone shack. I want to take a look around. I can't wait to explore. I love visiting new places for the first time. Look at these kids beating each other with sticks. <laughs> oh, I can't. Oh, it's it's actually preventing me from going over there. Interesting. Damn, kids. Hooligans. Okay, we can't take out our weapons in town. Who would have thought? What should we do first? This is beautiful. So oh, I really like it. I actually didn't explore the town in the demo because I wanted to wait for the... I have to say, you're a real lifesaver. Well then, see you next time. It's always a pleasure. Oh, do we know you? You made it all the way to this item too? Boy, you really do get around. You might just say I'm everywhere. Everywhere the cash flows. <laughs> <laughs> I like their parrot. Visit the Nick Knack Shack for all your travel tasks. That's so cute. Siracart is a renowned merchant who offers a plethora of goods and services to travelers and residents alike. In fact, let's trade with her right now. Treasure trade. Looks like you have enough Rafal coins to trade for Fortitude shards. Oh, it, is it making me do that? What if I don't want to? A draft of wind magic leaks from this wind orb. All right, so it looks like we do need to enter the number of shards you want and then select trade. So I only have three coins. Um, yeah, so I can only do three. So we'll do one for now. Fighty, fighty mine. You must be the ones Ciro mentioned. Let me take a peek at your gear. Blacksmith takes care of all things weapon related. You can also sell your items here, but not to the knickknack paddywhack shop. Let's use the fortitude shards you traded for earlier to level up your captain's weapons. Upgrade weapons. Oh, that's so... Oh, man. Yeah. That's why the quest system, that makes sense. So we didn't have access to this stuff in the demo. So that makes sense. Uh, and it looks like the traits select the number of shards you want to use the weapons level will increase based on how many shards um it gives us weapons there's actually a lot of i'm gonna only obviously i'm only gonna use one we could do five and make it but we're gonna well, obviously we're gonna wait on that i'm gonna polish that up for you it's the first sword you get i doubt it's gonna be that good they have auto level two for the weapons. This is gonna be, this is gonna be, that's gonna be great. Enhance. Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> My bad. Grant. Navigating towns. Icons displayed on the top of the screen indicate where useful facilities are located. The quest icon points to the next story objective. You can save your game at any time from the main menu while in town. I'm glad we know where to look if we need to sharpen our weapon. Yeah. <laughs> Say that again. Now, back to goofing off. Now, back to, back to goofing off. Talk. 
upgrade weapons. weapons we can upgrade everybody's so it looks like oh it shows our level and then when you hover okay that's really neat uh we do have another sword though i believe we can get selling items they can be sold for rupees however they can't be bought back okay want to sell something let's see what you got sell precious ores so glitter stone the only thing we can do is sell it so i'm assuming that's what they're doing with that That's why, that's why, okay, cool, 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 cool. These are expensive. Nice. Come back sometime. They also had a, the, it said, it actually tells you when you get a trophy. So for this one, it said first investment, I think it was. Yeah, first investment will give us a coin. That's really cool. Use treasure trade 300 times. Use it for the first time. Zero's protege. That's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to like, you know, story stuff not with not like who knows how the story is going to be. I don't I don't know. But I can tell that the the just the gameplay stuff and like the way that we the upgrade system Never find romance here in this backwater. Wanna anyway. wanna bet? Maybe it's time I traveled the skies. Oh, I just know my soulmate is out there waiting. So we can't talk to what we do first? Looks like we can't talk to a lot of NPCs. Alright, we do have stuff though. Serial code, your online ID will be sent upon receiving your Gram Blue special item set relink pack serial code, okay? So I got to connect and then serial code can only be redeemed once. It won't be reissued. Well, there you go. I don't I don't know what that's for, but I'll write it down and then obviously that will be redeemed before I put this out so that you can't steal it, dear viewer. Uh but that's yeah, I don't even know what that does. But obviously, I'll do that so I have it. Sure, why not? And then we have claim add-ons. We have color pack. We have color pack three. Starter items gives us 500 mastery points. Glitter crystals and... So glitter crystals we can sell. We saw we sell, sold for a lot. And, for, and they give us 30 of those? And then fortitude crystals, they give us 50? It seems like a lot. Maybe it's actually not that much. Like, probably good for the... False Sword of the Apocalypse is level 50. That's... Odd. Stamina 3, level 4, and en Enmity, level th 3. Cr and then we have Crewmate Cards. Use Crewmate Cards to unlock new party members to join you on your journey. The more, the merrier. Which crew member would you like to call? Okay. Obviously, I don't think we can. We don't have any Crewmate Cards, but we have Charlotte. We have Gondagoza. Fairy. Who fights with a whip? Oh, that's cool. Uh, Narmaya. I'm assuming we're gonna be intro we're gonna be meeting all of these, right? Lancelot, who seems cool. Vane. So vain. Uh Percival. Siegfried. Uh Cag Cag Cagliostro. Caglios Cagliostro. She sounds really cool. Yudara. Zeta. And Vasaraga. Ooh. Only two. So it looks like there's only. There's three fire, two earth, two water, two light, two dark. One wind. That's really cool. All right, cool. And then uh, I want to see about treasure trade here. So we could trade those for wind stuff. Details. Oh, okay. Wind shards. Draft of wind magic. I think we'll wait for this stuff. Fortitude Fortitude shards, though, are for the... Don't forget to equip sigils. Now that you've obtained a sigil, you have to equip it in order to take advantage of its effects. 
And we also, sigils can now be upgraded. I doubt we'll have enough resources to do that, but the higher the sigil's level, the stronger its trait effect becomes. Sigil rarity determines its level cap. Bearers, huh? sigil enhancement? So we can do enmity, uh, trait details, boost attack. I'm into that. Boost attack based on how low your health is. Interesting. And then stamina, I'm assuming, is boost attack based on how high your health is. Okay, so there are two different versions of that. That's interesting. We can't do anything, though, because we need we can't upgrade those. We need prism chips and fire shards and land beast claws. So some people might not end up liking stuff like that, right? Of, like, the quest system and all of that jazz. They might, they might just not end up, might not be your thing. Um, I doubt we can equip this. It's maxed out, actually. Traits auto revive. What? Automatically recover recover from critical condition. Reactivation time is shortened based on trait level. So this one's level two. So for after 550 seconds. So every two, uh, at max every two minutes it'll. Jeez Louise, level three. So increases our attack by eight. There's no way we can use that right now, right? So automatically uh, select the most suitable materials for leveling up the chosen weapon. This feature I'll makes that a breeze. This. So we can be like, boom, auto level, and it'll just do it. Fortitude Crystal S. And then, oh, it'll take the sword. I see. It'll take the sword from, if you do auto level, it'll use whatever you have to do. Basically, it takes it from 2 to level 10. That's, that's great. That's wild. That's a lot. All right, cool. So I think we'll wait for that. And then I want to see if I can actually equip that. I can't wait to see more of the well, we do have, well, we actually have a couple of things. So we have the fortitude things. Those are, those are, uh, obviously a little bit better than the shards, but not by, not by too much. And then we have the, uh, glitter crystal. They possess immeasurable power. It is little more than a bobble to be exchanged for money. Okay, cool. And then the false sword of the... Can I equip that now? Surely we can't. We can. I feel like that's going to make things pretty easy. It, our attack goes from 93... From 10 to 93. Excuse? That is a. I think that's a little OP for. I think that's a little OP for a DLC item. Personally, I think that's. I think that's wild. That's. I think that's too. I think that's. That's too much, dude. That's too much. We'll give you enmity. Why not? Right. Like that's. That's absurd. This replica of a sword wielded by a fallen angel who attempted to destroy the world. Its red blade represents the sky in flames. Its loathsome hilt a testament to undying hatred. One touch is enough to become tainted by its evil. Seek to defy the inevitability of death before bearing the sword, Skyfarer. But it's a replica. So it's not, it's not like the real one, you know? It's so dope, though. Alright, and then we can do character details and customize character and I can change nice kind of like that one color eight so if we exit out sweet that is really cool well friends I think we're going to end this first part here because obviously I want to I want to explore the rest and check everything out, but that feels like a good stopping point for now as we explore the rest of this town, whatever this town is called. I don't even know if we know yet. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you want me to continue with this, please let me know in the comments. It really, really helps if you're interested in seeing more of this Grand Blue Fantasy Relink playthrough stuff. Uh, and I'm hopefully going to get a little bit more into this game because I want to do like little guides for the different characters and, you know, guides on my other channel, uh, Missile Dine Online, and see what we can do. So let me know in the comments below if you want to see more. 
until then and let me until 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 we'll see i might just put up a bunch of these today because i'm really liking this game but we'll we'll find out all right i love you never give up never surrender to proto bahamut who should be our friend bye everyone